Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Kojo Kokochi. Uh, I am the program manager for Shared Interest Foundation. Uh, I am based in Accra, uh, Ghana in the West African region. Uh, Shared Interest Foundation is the charitable arm of Shared Interest Society. We provide uh, technical uh, assistance and business support to small-scale producer groups across Africa and Latin America. Uh, we are of the belief that by uh, building sustainable businesses, they are able to uh, provide employment opportunities in their communities and they do increase the income of their producers and workers, which ultimately result in the improvement in their quality of life. Uh, over the past year, we uh, delivered uh, five projects in six different countries, uh, including Ghana, Burkina Faso, Uganda, Kenya, Malawi, and Nicaragua. Uh, we deliver our project through our in-country partners, and then we do leverage their local knowledge to ensure that our projects are delivered in a manner that will ensure uh, the achievement of the desired uh, impact. Uh, in Ghana, we uh, supported uh, 50 out-of-school youth to go into uh, cocoa farming. Uh, the aim of the project is to uh, contribute to the sustainability of cocoa production in the country and at the same time prepare the next generation of cocoa farmers. So we provided these youth with uh, farming tools and equipment and then we uh, also gave them uh, cocoa seedlings uh, for planting on their land. Uh, they also receive a number of trainings, uh, including uh, training on good agriculture practices and cocoa farming techniques, agribusiness management, and then uh, climate change. Uh, in uh, Burkina Faso, uh, we launched uh, a project known as Bees for uh, Business. Uh, this project uh, is supporting uh, 75 vulnerable women in rural Burkina Faso to become beekeepers. These women were uh, undertaking a mining activity, which was a dangerous activity for women in the community. But by providing them this business opportunity, uh, they will uh, stop uh, mining and then uh, develop the beekeeping activity. We will provide them with 300 beehives and train them uh, in a modern beekeeping technology and also in business management so that they can grow the business uh, profitably and sustainably. In another community in rural Burkina Faso known as Dakoro, we are also supporting uh, 50 uh, women to uh, go into organic sesame farming. Uh, we provided them with the sesame seed and also input uh, so that they can improve, uh, increase the yield of the farm. We uh, also provided them uh, training on good agriculture practices and uh, uh, in agri uh, business management. In Uganda and Kenya, our project uh, focused on building the governance and financial capacity of 20 producer groups, 10 located in Kenya and 10 located in Uganda. Uh, it's a two-year project that we concluded last year, and uh, following the training and mentoring program we implemented with the groups, they have now put in place strong governance structures and effective financial management systems uh, that has really improved the management of their businesses. Some of them have proceeded to uh, acquire, uh, apply for uh, credit facilities to further uh, grow their businesses. In Malawi, we also concluded a, a three-year project uh, which was focused on uh, supporting five cooperatives to increase their farm yield and also uh, grow their income so as to support their uh, livelihood. Uh, in Nicaragua, uh, our project was um, uh, environmentally focused. So we provided environmental education to uh, 84 coffee farmers and supported them to plant 3,000 trees uh, on their farms so as to mitigate the negative effect of climate change on their coffee production. They were also supported uh, to construct 65 uh, uh, coffee wastewater filters to reduce the pollution of the environment uh, by the wastewater coming from the uh, coffee um, uh, activity. Uh, we uh, carried out the strategic review of the foundation uh, uh, last year and we have developed a five-year uh, strategic plan to guide our activities and operations. Um, we have included now uh, some key SDGs into our work so we are now developing projects focused on the environment, women empowerment, and youth skill development. Um, thank you very much.